Mm. Emily Deem is exploring some festive nature classes in the town of Scott. Hi, Em. Good morning. We are out here at Swanstone Gardens. They offer really cool nature classes you can take part in. Ann Preston's here with me, and this is the work she does, live wire art. Look at these trees. You can actually create one of them coming up in March, that one you see right there. But Ann, tell me about the process and how you create these trees. We start with a bundle of wire. Um, it depends on the size of the tree that you want as to how many are in the bundle. People always ask me how many, and I don't usually count anymore. Um, you just twist the trunk, which I've done here. <clears throat> then you split off branches, and you twist with a needle nose pliers. And then you split into more branches. So it's a very simple process. It just takes some time. You also need a rock. I do supply the rocks. People can bring their own if they'd like to. Um, this one was a gift given to me. This process, after they're all finished and pruned, is a little more difficult. It takes some uh, real strength to get this to lay down on the rock. If people are having a hard time with that, I do do it for them because the creativity is done. So I can help them with the mechanics. In March, they, people will be able to make that tree. That's correct. You that would one like is... people to sign up ahead of time. Yes, uh -huh. March 8th that class is. And then after that we have some other classes. The um, copper wire we'll be using and this one that I was demonstrating has three trees on one rock. Really cool stuff. Well, coming up this Saturday, Kim McCorrison is going to be teaching a rug making class, but it's a unique one. I recycle. I like to recycle old t-shirts to make these rugs and these rag rugs have been around for years. My grandma used to make them but what I like about this is a no sew project and what you do is you cut your t-shirts up into strips which you have here and you just take and put like a little buttonhole on the end of each strip and you just pull it through and you just Pull it through and there's your connection. Wow. No sewing. Um, I do this, it's a little different, a little twist. I braid and then I work with these braids because you get a heavier rug. And wash and wear, they're wonderful. You throw them in the washer, throw them in the dryer, throw them back on the floor. They're just wonderful rugs and they will wear forever. They're like iron. And so when you start your weaving process, you just pull your tool through and sometimes it's a little tough because it's tight and this is your weaving process. Uh, your grandmas used to make these rugs and it was called the toothbrush technique and they would take an old toothbrush and they would break the bristles off and file it down because an old toothbrush always had a hole in the handle and that was your needle. So I kind of modified it a little bit and I found some paint brushes and I break the bristles off, file it down wow. and this is part of your and this class is this Saturday, and it's also a take-home project, too. Take project. A little more time on this. So go to our website to learn more, fox11online.com. We'll send it back to you.